Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you are doing wonderful. Some of you may know me, some of you may not. I am Miss Boyd and this lesson is for Ta -da! Princeton and Fayetteville. If you are not in Princeton or Fayetteville, we have another video for you that me or Miss Torres has made. So if you're not Princeton or Fayetteville, please find your video, okay? All right, Princeton, Fayetteville, are you ready? You ready to go? Let's do this. We're starting on lesson 71. I know some of you probably are past this lesson or past it when we were in school, but we want to make sure that you remember everything. So we're going to go back just a little bit, okay? It's not too far. Just going to go back just a little bit to make sure everything stays in that beautiful brain of yours, okay? You ready? Let's do this. All right, we're going to make up an analogy that tells what the containers are made of. What is the analogy going to tell? You ready? Exactly, what the containers are made of. Here are the containers we're going to use in the analogy. A bag and a bottle. Which containers? Get ready. Exactly, a bag and a bottle. Name the first container. Get ready. A bag. Very good. Tell what that container is made of. Get ready. Exactly. Paper, you got it. Here's the first part of the analogy. Listen, a bag is to paper. What's the first part of the analogy? Get ready. Exactly, a bag is to paper. Very good. Now, name the second container. Name the second container this time. Get ready. Exactly, a bottle, a bottle. Tell me what that container is made of. Get ready, plastic, very good. Here's the second part of the analogy. A bottle is to plastic. What's the second part of the analogy? Get ready, exactly. A bottle is to plastic, very good. Parents, if the students are having any problems with any of this, please feel free to go back, um, rewind this uh, video for them and let them uh, get those answers firm because we wanna make sure that they are retaining the information, okay? And if you need us, we're here Mondays and Wednesdays, the language group, Okay, now you're gonna say the whole analogy. First, you're gonna tell what a bag is made of and then you're gonna tell what a bottle is made of. Say the analogy that tells what a bag is made of and what a bottle is made of. Get ready. Mm -hmm. A bag is to paper as a bottle is to plastic. You got it, very good. Give yourselves a round of applause. You made it through your first exercise in our distance learning. Woo -woo. All right, exercise two, you ready? Let's go. All right, you're gonna talk about today, tomorrow, and what everyone? One week from today, that's right. One week from today. Tell me the day of the week, it is today. You ready? Mm hmm it should be Monday that you're seeing this. It should be Monday. I hope it's Monday. Boop, 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 boop. Monday. All right, tell me the day of the week it will be tomorrow. Get ready. Mm hmm Tuesday, yeah, very good. Tell me the day of the week it will be one week from today.
You ready? Mm-hmm. This is today. This is one week from today. I hope you said this day, which is Monday, same day, right? Remember? All right, very good. Now, we're gonna do the dates. Are you ready? Are you set? Let's do this. All right, tell me today's date. Get ready. Exactly. Monday, April 6, 2020. That should be today's date that you are viewing this. Today's date should be Monday, April 6, 2020. Very good. All right. Now, I hope you have a calendar in front of you. If not, now you do. There we go. Tell me. You ready? Are you sure? Tell me the date it will be one week from today. I need the date now. What will the date be one week from today? Boop, boop. Get ready. Exactly, Monday, April 13th, 2020. All right, very good. Now, let's do that again. Tell me today's date, today's date. Get ready. Exactly, Monday, April 6, 2020. Very good. Tell me tomorrow's date. Get ready. Exactly, Tuesday, April 7th, 2020, okay? Tell me the date it will be one week from today. Tell me the date it will be one week from today. Get ready. Uh-huh, I hope you said Monday, April 13th, 2020, because you would be right. Ding, 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 ding. Yay. All right, exercise three. We're moving right along, guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Get ready to play detective and find out what object I'm thinking of. I'll give you two clues. It's a container. You can put garbage in it. Say the two things we know about the object. Get ready. Exactly, very good. It's a container and you can put garbage in it. Those clues don't tell you enough to find the right container. They could tell you about a lot of containers. So see how many containers you can name that you can put garbage in. Let me hear you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those are some great answers, guys. I believe you said some awesome answers, okay? So here's another clue for finding the right object. Listen, it's made of paper. Everyone say that. Get ready. Exactly, it's made of paper. Very good. Now, here are the three things we know about the object. It's a container, you can put garbage in it, and it's made of paper. Very good. Everyone say all the things we know about the object. Get ready. You rock, absolutely right. Everyone, tell me what container I am thinking of. Get ready. Yes, a paper bag. You got it, you got it, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, very good. So let me just send you some virtual student points real quick because y'all are awesome. Let me give you another round of applause because you're killing it, I believe you are. You are doing such a great job over there. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Let's go to exercise 
four. All right. I'm going to tell you about an object you know, but I'm going to call it a funny name. See if you can figure out what object I'm thinking of. Okay. An at bit is a building. Say that. Get ready. Exactly. An at bit is a building. An at bit is made of wood. An at bit is made of wood. Say that. Get ready. Mm hmm. You find an at bit on a farm. Say that. Get ready. Exactly. Very good. So, everyone, let's say all the things we know about an at bit. Are you ready? Get ready. Mm hmm. Exactly. An at bit is a building, an at bit is made of wood. And you find an at bit on a farm. Very good. Everyone, tell me what an at bit is. You ready? Exactly. A barn. You're so smart. Oh my gosh. Kiss those brains. Mwah, mwah. Very good. All right. Everyone, I could not fool you. It really is a barn. You're so smart. Very good. So, how would you like to eat an at bit for breakfast? Ew, right? A barn? I can't. I would never. Very good. <laughs> Exercise five. Are you ready? Let's do this. We're going to talk about classes. If we took all young girls from the class of people, would there be any kinds of people left? Get ready. Yes. Very good. Yes. Name some kinds of people that would be left. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the class of young girls is made up of many kinds of girls. I'll name some kinds of girls in the class of young girls. Listen, five-year-old girls, seven-year-old girls, you name some kinds of girls in the class of young girls. I'm listening. Exactly, very good. Think about this. If we took all the five-year-old girls from the class of young girls, would there be any young girls left? Get ready. Yes, you are absolutely right. Name some kinds of young girls that would be left. Go ahead. Mm-hmm, exactly. Yes, if we took all the five-year-old girls from the class of young girls, there would still be young girls left. So, which class is bigger? The class of five-year-old girls or the class of young girls? You ready? The class of young girls. Very good, how do you know? Get ready. Exactly. The class of young girls has more kinds of girls in it. Durr. Very good. You got it. You guessed it because you're smart. Very good. All right. Think big. Which class is bigger? The class of people or the class of young girls? You ready? Mm-hmm, the class of people, right? The class of people is bigger than the class of young girls. Think big, which class is bigger? The class of young girls or the class of five-year-old girls? You ready? The class of young girls. Give yourselves a mighty, 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 Round of applause because you just made it through your first distance learning 
less in Fayetteville and Princeton. Woo, woo. Great job, y'all. Now I need you to get your packets out, okay? Because we have to do our worksheet. You remember our worksheets? Yeah, we got to do them. We still got to do them. And we love them, right? 71. Let's get there. All right. Write your name at the top of the page, okay? These are pictures that show the first story about the bragging rats. The pictures are in order. That means that the first picture shows something that happened at the beginning of the story. The next picture shows something that happened next in the story. The last picture shows something that happened at the end of the story, okay? Everyone touch picture one. What's happening in that picture? Go ahead, I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. The bragging rats are arguing about who is the fastest runner and the wise old rat is telling the bragging rats that he has an idea, okay? So everyone touch picture two for me. Can you touch picture two? What's happening in that picture? Absolutely. The bragging rats are lined up ready to race to the pond and back. Okay. Everyone touch picture three. What's happening in that picture? Yeah, the bragging rats. I mean, I'm sorry, the rat with the yellow teeth is stepping on the long tail of the gray rat. Mm. Everyone touch picture four. What's happening in that picture? Mm-hmm. The bragging rats are arguing in the pond and the others are laughing. <laughs> right? You can use these pictures to tell the whole story about the bragging rats. You have to start out by telling why the bragging rats are arguing in the first place. Then tell the things that happened in each picture. Raise your hand if you think you can tell the whole story, okay? Remember, you have to tell the beginning and then tell about each picture. Later, you can color the pictures. Maybe you can tell the story to somebody in your family. That'd be a good idea. I bet they will think it's a silly story. Maybe you can tell it to me before you go home today, except we're already home. So just tell it to your family, okay? I'm sure they would love to hear it, okay? Great. Now, we're on the back. You ready? Flip to the back. Mm, mm, just like that. All right, the arrows show where the dog went. Touch the dog. You'll follow the arrows and tell me what the dog chased. The arrow that goes from the dog shows which direction it went first. Touch the arrow. Everyone, which direction is that arrow pointing? Get ready. North, that is correct. North, yes, the dog went north to chase the cat. Which direction did he go? Get ready. That's right, north. So what letter will you write in the circle on the cat? Get ready. And you guessed it. Touch the arrow that goes from the cat. Everyone, which direction is that arrow pointing? Get ready. West. Mm-hmm. That's correct. So what letter will you write on the rabbit? Get ready. W, you're gonna write a W on the rabbit. Touch the arrow that goes from the rabbit. Everyone, which direction is that arrow pointing? You ready? South, very good. So what letter will you write on the frog? Get ready, S, right? Touch the arrow that goes from the frog. Which direction is that arrow pointing? Get ready. West, right? Very good, west. So what letter will you write on the mouse? T, 
You ready? W. W, right? Very good. Write the letters to show which direction the dog went. Very good. Now we are on the second half. You ready? Okay, let's go. Here's a coloring rule for this picture. If an object is made of wood, if it's made of wood, color it brown or orange. If it's made of wood, color it brown or orange. What's the rule? You ready? Exactly, great job. If it's made of wood, color it brown or orange. Mark two objects made of wood. Here's another coloring rule for this picture. If an object is made of cloth, if an object is made of cloth, color it yellow. What's the rule? You ready? Exactly. If an object is made of cloth, color it yellow. That is the rule. Make a yellow mark on one of the objects made of cloth. Here's one more thing to do, just one, just one more. Part of the shirt is missing. Mm -mm. Part of the shirt is missing. What part is missing? Get ready. The sleeve, oh my gosh, the sleeve. So before you color the shirt, follow the dots and make the sleeve. And you, my friends, have finished your first lesson in our distance learning program give yourself a little dance party yeah you did it great job guys i will see you wednesday bye